It's just one of those days where everything was going good until this little light comes on. So I think I'm gonna just take the car home and uh, see if I can't get it diagnosed. Stay tuned. So what's up guys, sorry I haven't posted a video in a while, I've been doing the old deer hunting thing in my free time, putting off the side projects, putting off the channel, putting off my wife, but uh, and no I haven't shot anything yet, but anyway, on my way home from work today, the uh, my little friend the check engine light came on, so as I'm driving home, I'm doing a diagnosis, seeing if, well, do I have power, do I have braking, do I have this, is it charging, is it, is it doing everything? And I noticed that when I'm in third gear pulling the hill, it wants to cut out right around 3,500 RPM. So I am going to guess, without pulling the code, that this could be a mass airflow sensor. I don't know if I'm right. Or it could be a throttle position sensor. I guess we'll find out once we get home. So I'm here on the side of the road. I didn't make it. I'm gonna have to call a tow truck. Have my wife reading the scanner. Maybe, maybe just like fix the car on the side of the road. Maybe tow it home. I'm so close too, I'm only a mile. We might just flat tow the car home. Who knows? Well, I gotta make some phone calls. Be back with you in a minute. So, what's up? I just got back home cars here we're gonna go grab the scanner out of the garage and then we're gonna see what kind of codes it reads and there it is I owe it all to my wife yeah I owe it all to my wife she uh she hooked she grabbed the toe strap and I uh, came and got my butt so we're gonna plug it in to see what happens So right down here, right there, if you can see it, that's where you plug in your OBT, OBD2 scanner. And these things are actually becoming pretty dang cheap lately. So we'll plug it in there, it'll instantly turn on. And then you just take the key, turn your car to the on position. And click enter. Wipers on. Okay. So it says here Mazda. Enter for yes. Enter again. Two codes. Great. Oh, mass or volume airflow A input circuit high. Oh, is that just one code? Or did it show that code twice? Okay, that's P0103. We're going to Google that. Okay, so it showed the same code twice. I bet it's crapped out. So it's got a pending, that means it's seen that in the drive cycle. 
and on the first one it drove long enough to confirm it so we're gonna go and look it up p0103 on the old Google so on the Mazda this is your throttle plate and you got your intake tube this one has an aftermarket warm or cold air intake it's ducked down in there it's the cheap one off eBay but right here is where your mass airflow sensor sits and I bet this thing might be dirty I have also heard online or read online that they uh, sometimes have to have an aftermarket wire put into them or not aftermarket but it's a factory deal a recall we got two screws that hold this in There's one here's two I just can't picture why this would make the car shut off though I guess if it really didn't read anything oh there's water on that film down inside there I can't see anything I have never seen one of these have water on it interesting so we're going to take a little paper towel, dry it off down in there the best we can. You know, and it's been, I live in Washington and it's been raining hard out lately. Dry that up, we're going to grab a Q-tip. A little bit of the isopropyl rubbing alcohol not drinking alcohol i'm going to clean up the sensor right down in there just a little you can see a little bit of black stuff's coming off on the q-tip it's not actually well that side wasn't that dirty but this side's pretty dirty clean down in there Be kind of cool to take this whole thing apart. So basically, in shortman, in short, this thing just sends a signal to the computer telling it how much air is actually coming through the throttle body, and then it tells the computer how much fuel to add to the engine to keep it at that the correct ratio so your engine runs as smoothly and as fuel efficiently as possible we're gonna let this dry for about 10 minutes and uh, then go and put it back in the car reset the codes see what happens I bet it goes away bet you these sensors nowadays are pretty durable this is a pre 2000 vehicle they're actually fairly fragile and you could break them pretty easily but nowadays they're made pretty good so we'll see what happens I just I'm happy today it's Thursday but it's really my Friday because I took tomorrow off so I can go hunting and I don't want to be plagued with car problems when I'm going hunting this next week all right that's on keys turned on enter enter again this little box scan tool saved me a lot of money still two codes that's fine I haven't started the vehicle enter enter again go down to erase codes yes okay
Codes remaining zero. Enter. Let's fire it up, see what happens. Oh, it went off. Great. These little scanners are pretty cool. They could actually tell you quite a bit about the engine. You can go in, view data. Entire data list. So now that we know this mass airflow sensor, throttle position sensor, I don't know what that one is, I don't know what this one is, that's the mass airflow sensor, I don't know if that's reading correctly or not, let's tap the throttle and see if it changes. No. Catalytic temperature is 204. I don't know what that is. Oh. CMD EQ RAT. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Coolant is 122. That's fine. Exhaust gas return. That's fine. 914, that looks about right. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't know what the vap purge is supposed to be. Fuel level, I got a 23.5% left in the tank. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, the fuel system is going to be closed. It doesn't have a secondary fuel system. Initial air. Intake air temp is 64 degrees outside. It feels like it's 42. Ignition advanced. So this is kind of fun to play with. As I give it throttle, look at how much it advances. Long-term fuel trim. Mass airflow sensor, 0.37. I don't know what it's actually supposed to be reading. And that's that would be awesome to know what it's supposed to actually be reading because then I'll be able to figure out what it's supposed to be and if mine's still malfunctioning or what. Absolute pressure, 9.4. I think barometric pressure is like 14 or something like that. But yeah, uh, no check engine light, but I think I'm going to go ahead and order a new mass airflow sensor uh, just to have it. So when this happens again, I can replace it. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any problems with your mass airflow sensor, they're pretty easy to fix. Uh, we're coming up on 100 subscribers. And I was thinking about doing a giveaway, so if you think a giveaway would be cool, comment down below. Otherwise, you can subscribe over here or the next video up over there. Anyway, thanks for watching Cheapskate Garage. You guys take it easy.